Um, those look a lot like a lot of questions, Brian. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous now. It's not that many. Uh, Jay Zhang says, who should not use whole body cryotherapy? It's a good question. Yeah. Um, pregnant females should not use whole body cryotherapy. Okay. Individuals with chronic, untreated hypertension or high blood pressure okay. should not be using cryotherapy. Yeah. And that's why we also take your uh, blood, blood pressure, pressure with this handy dandy machine over here gotcha um people with chronic heart disease okay cannot use cryotherapy um individuals that have cold allergies um uh, meaning there's individuals out there that like the flu if you had the what if, if you're sick like you're like, kind of like the flu kind of thing so if you're sick if you have a cold we typically recommend against it but there are studies that show that cryotherapy boosts your immune system. I would, yeah, I would assume yeah. so. So, cold and flu is okay, but when I say talk about cold allergy, literally, people, if they're exposed to cold, mm -hmm. they break out in hives, or, oh. so if they have that type of allergy, then yeah. we recommend not against it. Gotcha. Other than that, really, it's available for anyone, and then obviously, there's age restrictions, so anyone under the age of uh, 14 oh, wow. um, typically should not be doing cryotherapy. That makes sense. Is there like a higher end cap? There is not a higher end cap as long as, again, they don't They're have healthy. any heart disease and all that. So our my oldest client um, is 82 years old. Nice. What does he, she, or do? Um, former jujitsu master. Oh. Or current, I mean, I guess still. Yeah. But yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. He, and he took it like a champ. <laughs> uh, I think you kind of said this, like, what are the risks? A full body cryo. Yeah. So the risk, if not done properly, and yeah. the safety measures and procedures aren't followed, mm -hmm. um, if you're, you know, a, not high enough in the chamber, you might be breathe too much nitrogen. You can become a little lightheaded. Okay. Worst case, you can you might faint. Um, that's again if your head is not outside of that chamber. Okay. Um, and I think you're going to show the video of you inside that chamber, right? So, right. Um, other risks, if you're coming from a workout and you're super sweaty, mm -hmm. we don't allow you to go in there with super oh, sweaty skin. Okay. So we have you dry off with a towel. Makes sense. And again, that's just so that moisture doesn't irritate your skin. Yeah. Um, it's going to freeze. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Um, other risk is if you have body piercings, right? Again, metal gets colder than skin. Oh. Just don't want make, make sure there's no skin irritations. Other than that, there's not many risks to it. Okay. Again, as yeah. done properly. I, mean, I figure it wouldn't be that many because like, your whole procedure just seems like exact dummy proof. Yeah, yeah. I uh, mean, and we we follow procedures to a T. I'm very, very strict on that. Um, <laughs> and um, you know, it's we've done since opening at this location, we've done over twenty five thousand cryotherapy sessions. Wow. Um, at this location alone. Gotcha. Busy guy. Yeah. <laughs>